You know who killed the chief? These chiefs were taken by Field Marshal. Yes, you, you read the story of Field Marshal Oliver uh, uh, Leke who killed these chiefs. Yes, that story is very authentic. Oliver Leke killed these three chiefs, and the reason is just bizarre. It's not something to be mentioned. But what's the significance of this, and how does it affect the Ambazonian Revolution? It's a terrible thing. And uh, this is just to show you the biggest mafia in this revolution that you say you're fighting for independence. And the mafia is between Chris Anu, Oliver uh, P. Marshall, and the Cameroon government. I think it's the kind of the BLM elite mafia. Paul Tasson was looking for a leverage to use it to condemn Ambazonian in the international community. And P. Marshall gave him the opportunity to do that because the P. Marshall that I always have told you before that has defected. And remember that National Telegraph did not say that P. Marshall left the BLM. From day one, when we indicated P. Marshall defected, we said he is still in the BLM, but some of his fighters have gone to Ghana and Nigeria and other places. But P. Marshall himself was still in the BLM. And this is a testimony. Everybody who is from the BLM knows this story about these three chiefs. If you're trying to hide it, you should just hide it in peace and don't get to, uh, you know, disturb National Telegraph why they are not reporting it. So these three chiefs were killed by, by P. Marshall. And we are very much not surprised that Chris Anu had to do an audio trying to say that, oh, it's the Cameroon military who did that. When you do a lie, an audio that is very, very, very not factual, like what some of them are doing, trying to spin it around, spin it around, what do you do? You give the population the idea to believe that everything that people have been saying in this revolution is not true. But the story is very clear. Phil Marshall killed the three chiefs. And this is because Fee Masha does not longer work for the revolution. Fee Masha does not work for the revolution. And it's very important. We will speak the truth at any time, any day. And we know it will give time for some of you to build up conspiracies. But we are doing our job as journalists and as a media organ. The three chiefs, it's a bad thing to see that you are killing, you kill your own people from the same area. And you get... Cameroon government, the leverage to go organize something in Yaoundé and begin to corrode the image of other rebel leaders. It's a sad thing. And so this shows you the connection between FIMASHA and Cameroonian authorities. We clearly said it, and we're still going to re repeat it, that Chris Anu and his brother, they are simply here because they want the money and they want the favor from the Cameroon government. And they're doing that. So anybody who wants to challenge the information we've given out here, you know, from fee Masha to the Hindu issue, all of it, one million percent authentic. Batibo is just a fact. No child was born alive in Batibo, but this was used to ensure that they could the image of Ayabachu and other rebel leaders and for the Cameroon government to get a leverage, a leverage at the level of the international community. So the three chiefs, we've shown you their pictures. Everybody from Esorata knows the story. Most, if not all, the people from the BLM know that story that uh, Fee Masha killed the chiefs. And it's just for all Ambazonians to come out and condemn that barbaric act and give the Ambazonians a good face at the level of the international community. Let me tell you the truth. Chris Anu, everybody in the international community knows that he's not a serious person. Because it's easy for people to always reach out. To say, okay, this thing, this thing happened here. This thing didn't happen here. So you tell us, Libya Lempo, did, did this thing actually happen? Yeah, they'll get to the villagers. And there's nobody you're going to kidnap, you're going to tie, you're going to beat up. And there's nobody you're going to kill his chief. And for no, for no reason that the person will not tell the truth to what happened. We have spoken with many people from Minnesota. And they gave us these pictures, gave the name of the market, gave everything, gave us the date that this happened. And if you want, the story will be up on National Telegraph after this live show. So we want to say that all those who are parading falsehood must stop. Three chiefs were killed in Libya, and I can show you their pictures uh, while they were alive. You've not probably seen those pictures on any other platform, but let me show you this. And uh, let's get it clearly before I make the declaration and tell you what's going on. Uh, so these are their pictures. I have all their pictures. When that incident happened, this is one, one of the chiefs here. You have one of them. They are actually sub-chiefs. And then this is another one. You can see their picture. Those who are from the BLM will recognize them. So I have all their pictures right here, but I have not published. I have their full names. We have their full names. 
This one is called Chief uh, Folesio of uh, Aloswa. I might not be able to pronounce some of those names correctly. This is him. And uh, this is uh, Chief uh, Fozizong of Mbra. So this is Chief Fozizong of Mbra. So those are quarters within. Uh, uh, this is Chief uh, Fomin uh, in Kencha of Ndonga, Ndongong, Ndongong, who was a head teacher as well. That's him right there. And um, all these chiefs were killed. Of course, as you are aware, uh, I will just give you a brief about the chief before I will tell you what happened. So, some people say four chiefs. No, there are three chiefs that were killed. And uh, where did this happen? This happened in Eswata. Eswata is a village in uh, the Le BLM subdivision. And these chiefs were killed during, uh, they were taken from, they were all taken to the market square of, uh, uh, for a care down. That's how they call it. And then, um, from there, they, they call it the Inchen Salt Market before being shot and killed. And uh, I mean, to me, I think that it's a sad thing and we sympathize with these chiefs. The big question that everybody will be asking is that who did this act? And uh, everybody from the BLM knows exactly that that's what happened. Fimasha is a shame, it's a disgrace, it's pathetic that you have to kill chiefs for reasons that we don't know. But of course, the reason is simple is to give the Kamon government a leverage to be able to use it as a propaganda and to corrode the image of Ambazonia. You saw a person was in Yaoundé organizing a whole lot of things and calling Ambazonian terrorists. He was not uh, limiting it just to Fimasha. He said, stop terrorism. And this goes a long way to corrode the image of separatists. Yes. No, the issue of the chief is a sad thing, and uh, Chris Anno and uh, Team Marshall, they know why they killed those chiefs. It's not normal, you go slaughter three chiefs. 